Good afternoon YouTube, Xfile2708 back again with another five minute movie review. Um, as you can tell from the title guys, this is um, a new movie that's not long come out um, starring Nicolas Cage um, and it is uh, Long Legs. Um, confusing to how this movie, um, honestly I've not even seen a trailer for it. Um, I'd seen various people across different Facebook groups um, mostly raving about it, a few um, negative um, responses about it, but by and large it was one of those movies that I'd seen pretty positive um, impressions of. Um, so it was one I thought, right, yeah, I need to check that one out for myself. Um, so I checked it out on the fire stick. Um, and yeah, like I say, kind of confused really as to what sort of movie it's trying to be. Um, whether it's a, a psychological horror, um, a satanic horror, um, a serial killer movie. Um, a, a supernatural thriller, I honestly haven't got a clue. Um, it might be one of those movies that's, um, that I understand a little bit more on a rewatch. So um, I'm tempted, you know, um, maybe in a few weeks time potentially um, to, to, to give it another, another watch. That's not to say that I didn't enjoy it. Um, I'd say, I mean, it's it's really difficult to try and explain to you guys what sort of movie it is because I don't think the movie itself knows if that makes sense. Um, it's kind of a cross between Silence of the Lambs and Seven, I would say. Um, but it's got, I don't know, like a, a, a either a satanic or a supernatural element to it. Um, I mean, Nicolas Cage, I, I didn't even realise, I, I, I knew it was a Nicolas Cage movie, um, but I didn't recognise with all his, his makeup on and the acting and the mannerisms that it was actually Nicolas Cage playing um, the character Longlegs, who oddly doesn't have very long legs, so <laughs> very um, bizarre um, character name. Um, but yeah, like I say, very similar lines to Silence of the Lambs, um, you know, where they're, um, the, the, there's a, a female FBI agent um, investigating um, the um, serial killer Longlegs. Um, but I, I couldn't really tell them, I and it might just be, be me being completely thick, not knowing anything about the movie before I went into it, whether he was actually a real serial killer that was in the present um, or whether he was a serial killer that wasn't alive anymore but was coming back in like a satanic way like I say it honestly to, to, to me not knowing anything about the movie either watching a trailer or reading up on it it was a difficult one to try and understand but I did enjoy it, even though I didn't understand it fully. Um, acting was decent. Nicolas Cage's character, Longlegs, creepy as fuck, really good. Um, he, he plays an absolutely sublime part. Um, creepy, disturbing, frightening character. Um, but yeah, I re really enjoyed his character. Um, the cinematography in it as well, it shot really nicely. Um, you know, that was something else that um, jumped out at me. Very, very well, not quite, obviously, the, the, the cinematography of The Shining, but there's a couple of scenes where they're sort of like tracking a car that's driving down the road. And loosely, it reminded me of the, um, the opening scene to The Shining. So, you know, I kind of thought, oh, well, yeah, that looks quite... Uh, quite decent but um yeah overall guys i gave this a rating of three out of five on my letterbox um but like i say it's one of those movies i'm not a hundred percent sure on um so i'm probably going to read 
a few reviews, a, you know, a few write-ups about it. Um, and then probably in a few weeks' time, give it a second watch. Hopefully understand a bit more about the background to the movie. And hopefully, you know, things will fall into place and it'll make a bit more sense um, second time around. But if you're on the fence about watching it, guys, honestly, I do recommend it. Like I say, slightly confusing, but, you know, what I watched... Um, very slow burn initially, but not to the point that, um, you know, that it was off-putting and I was ready to switch it off. Um, but yeah, Nicolas Cage's performance is, you know, by um, all means the best part about the movie. I did enjoy that um, that character, his makeup, his creepiness, um, his crazy character um really enjoyed that side of things as well so like i say well worth checking out guys definitely one that i enjoyed and i will revisit um you know over the next few weeks so there we go guys that's my uh very quick um confusing more than likely overview of um 2024's long legs um let me know in the comments if um if it's a movie that you've already seen maybe you can explain um, a little bit more about it to me to um, help me understand it more on a second watch um, or if after this review you're intrigued and you're going to check it out for yourself again let me know uh, as always guys please remember to like comment and subscribe and all that good stuff and I'll be back later on in the week with another video bye for now